sometimes it's it <clears throat> cuts off the first few seconds for some reason. So, uh, hello again, anyone who's been watching now later on YouTube. Hidin here along with Turkir. Hello, folks. Uh, yeah, we had a odd bit of. I started the stream, and then I play for like five minutes, and then I look here and I noticed it's not uh, streaming. So. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened there. Maybe I accidentally hit the combination for stop stream. But uh, yeah, at least this time it wasn't an hour of in footage lost, like in Soul Reaver 1. And we didn't get far with anything really. We're still only beyond these other side of this gate, basically. Well, yeah, l uh, let's see again. Last time we discovered that the one of the plots of this game, at least the the plot of people vanishing off the streets is basically a combination between that Soylent Green movie and The Matrix as in people were being vanished off the streets to be fed to a creature that would basically turn them into energy now with that thing dead this glyph energy is going to start dying out though for now there are batteries still strewn around the place uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to investigate the glyph energy just to be sure that it will not be in the... Just to be sure we not be misunderstanding it. But there is something that needs to be talked about it. No, actually, uh, oh no, that wouldn't work anyways. I was thinking about going mist form because there's mist here. But no, that would be... This guy can sense us, so that wouldn't have to... Wouldn't add anything. Yeah. Oh, so for... I also just pointed this out with the other. I could have dodged that. That was my fault. Like, those two idiots just... They're, they're watching a very obvious, very deadly fight going on. And their idea... Yeah, like the... Like, their idea is to walk closer to it. And that was my fault again. Like, again, there. Maybe you're trying to help or something, but I don't think the guy in massive fucking neon armor needs your help. They're not to be realistic, then. Oh. They're all people like that. Okay, that was the game's fault, because you saw me you saw me move to the side there in a dodge. So, again, uh... I'm not as angry as I was last time, but if the game is going to keep screwing up like that, that might quickly change again. Yeah. Because you, Rukir, you could see that I moved sideways there, or Kane partially did, but he just didn't. He just immediately stopped again, like he hit a wall. Yeah, I know that he was about to move, but I wasn't sure if it was he stopped or he had a deep stab that he was stuck in the rain. Uh, either I think the polish of this game is already starting to wear off, and that's they weren't able to fully clean things up at, uh, past the last level. Yeah, especially when they came at the uh, components of the team. I would not be surprised if the console version went smoother. There was me pressing the wrong button. Again! I moved, I tried to dodge to the side, but he just plain stops. So let's just cut the bullshit and cut this guy off. And steal his armor. There's more practical than yours. <laughs> Yellow attacks only break guards, they don't actually hurt. Oh. Okay, if, if you really want to watch that badly... Come on, get here. You can join your friends in the sea. Like, you've already said that these guys look like Innsmouthers. Uh, yeah. Hurt less, but... They can still try to swim. You could use them for blood, you know. 
Yeah, but they, they don't give much anyways. Like, not even a quarter of this guy. But the two of them would uh, at least be enough but to almost be fully healed, perhaps. <laughs> uh, no, I. it probably would have been only like a, a little bit extra great. Like, the tougher the enemy, the more blood they give, as the uh, Hilden showed it. Also yeah, something that was revealed last time, that is that that abomination we found at the beginning of the device wasn't Jarell at all, but Janus freaking Aldrin. Yeah, I expect it was not Jarell, but did not expect it to be, to be Janus either. Yeah, why is this move sense. box? Oh, he, he makes a better battery for that damn thing. Yeah, since he's like an ancient being. And oh, I see where we, we need to move it on top of the rotten planks. Also, something else we talked about that I'm remembering now. Uh, um, I'm, poss I'm thinking about possibly changing up the schedule a bit. Not in time. Well, maybe time. But more in structure, in that I might switch to two days of a, of a uh, game to stream, then Saturday as a free choice game, so I can either continue with the game or stream another game, hope, like uh, the, like I've done with Ground and Hydrophobia. Basically, shorter games, uh, or just uh, yeah playing up fun games, or fun streams, like uh, Valheim, or something else multiplayer, or just something funny. Yeah, especially, especially when he, yeah, when we've been enduring some... Uh, Bullshit. Uh, what? It, especially when we've been enduring some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we just need I a, we just need a change of pace. And, yeah, 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 something, get a bit more joy back, basically. Is he going? No. Okay, he, <laughs> he could have gone over the wall there. Oh, come on. No go. Um, damn, these chocolate discs. Got chocolate? Uh, uh, Marabou. Ah. I bought a uh, big taste Oreo stuffing. And I give you a shot of some uh, example. It's a brick. <laughs> okay, I prefer my chocolate in bars because I can just bite chunks out of that. And well, there's, he, there's he, just a primal satisfaction to just taking a bite out of something and tearing off a piece. Well, yeah, I, I can actually break it apart or bite it off, normally. Just due to its size, I'd probably get a lot of shock around my mouth. mouth Never that. fear. Are you Kane? They sent me to help you. You must reposition the lighthouse so that the Seraphim supply ship will dock and the drawbridge will lower. Okay, I completely missed what they both said at the start there. But apparently this is our contact, and our contact is bald at the back of their head. Okay, usually I see it go from front to back, not the back to front. Maybe, uh, maybe he pissed off the barber? <laughs> Could be. But yeah, we have to realign a lighthouse. <laughs> Heck, you know you're a vampire, why do you panic? Bloody idiot. Yeah, uh, he's, he just has the same programming as any other civilian. Uh, then I would say that's a definitely oversight. Yeah, that, that's a bit show that they don't you know, polish this, they haven't polished this game as much as they uh, could or should. Yeah, which makes you also wonder, will they have taken time to polish it more if they were to port it to computer from console? Uh, how do you mean? Like, 
Do you put something over? Do you want us to make sure it works? Yeah, you, you, that should be at the very basic of any uh, quality assurance on a game. If it even if it even functions, because there's plenty of games out there nowadays apparently that don't. Hmm. Yeah. But especially when you're dealing with a port. No, none of these doors open. Oh, this one does. I I probably just walked straight away from it without even trying. Okay. Well, hopefully ports are easier now since now we can use official uh, console uh, controls into the PC, which was impossible in the past. Okay. Like, if you want to use an Xbox controller or a PlayStation 4 controller, you can do that. Yeah, because so that's one do... big problem with old uh, ports is that the, the they big problem with old ports to the PC is that you plain can't change the button commands and what buttons they did p uh, choose often don't make a lick of sense anyways. Yeah, uh, you made worse sense. Yeah, if you look at old PC controllers that were used for PC. None of them were similar to the other. Yeah. Rarely. Some of them can have way more buttons than you're used to, and some have ridiculously fewer, almost fewer than the Nintendo 8-bit controller. This is yeah. just sad. Yeah, I, I think the most basic one that we at one point owned was like an NES controller. Like four arrows, four... And buttons and then well no six buttons uh the four in a square slash diamond and then a s two in the middle tell you it was that big yes you start dreams. select a b Swear. up down left and you lost it with a light went out right Picked overboard never saw it again right okay <laughs> i i was actually thinking that might be a bit more but it was just a fisherman bragging about the size of a fish. Or was it a fish? You never know with fishermen. Yeah, or maybe his wife with how uh, uh, most of the people here look. <laughs> okay, big guy, come on. I should stop trying to dodge those attacks. Because half of the time they just get me hit anyways. And... Okay, how did I not get a follow-up attack there? Anyways, yeah, I should, I should stop trying to dodge the yellow attacks only dodge the red ones because yeah the yellow attacks only break my guard push me back at the worst and don't cause any damage and uma or, oh no I, okay i was i was thinking that was uma because of the purple but yeah, no I, mean, yes. I really hope you don't have to kill uma and all that for Yeah. As quick as it's off, Uma just steal that yellow. It breaks too many red flags. himself out. Ah, this time I dodged. Okay. You know what mm -hmm. What? If we could, uh, if we could have them accidentally hit each other. 
Yeah, that, that's, that's always fun in games. Yeah, like you avoid a charge like a headlock, but the trick is the headlock is one in. Yeah, there's many like games that. that let you pull off stuff like that, but I don't, I can't remember if there's any recent ones. Oh, and I just remembered something oh. for the, le to the stream list. One, a game that I'd forgotten to add here, but certainly was on the list. Let's see, Horizon Zero Dawn. I had completely forgotten I'd added that one. I I just randomly remembered for some reason. Whatever <laughs> triggered that, I don't even know. Yeah, that, uh, that game I have not played nor watched. I think I've been really disinterested in it. I know There's everyone will be screaming it's good, but when I look at it, I just... Eh. Okay, we'll see then. So, uh, however, here's the thing. I could see it fun to commentate on it with mm. you. Yeah, that reminds you something of... Uh, I keep interrupting you, sorry for that. Uh, no worries. Uh, but yeah, earlier today, as I was watching Beanie, I had a bit—I had another flash of uh, inspiration, you could say, and mm -hmm. sort of a bit of a name, what we could call it, when I'm playing a game that I know, but you don't. Uh, we could basically call that blind backseat gaming. <laughs> even trying there. <laughs> oh my slide the thing to work. <laughs> so don't try to kill me this early. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> okay, so that's how we were supposed to change this <clears throat> change the lighthouse. Or at least turn one off and the other on. So, that was supposed to bring a ship in. The question is, where is it supposed to come in? <laughs> oh, I is it this ship? Uh, a little bit small. I have no idea if this one was here before or not. Or, yeah. I'm, I'm pr I get the feeling we're missing something again then. Yeah. Oh, uh, but before you almost killed me again, I have seen a little bit of people talking about Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I seen someone make a theory of it or, some, or something. It made me go slightly curious, but uh, yeah, I just not watched it too far. But over the years, I may have been open up to, me, to it a little bit more. So if you want to stream it, I'm all for it. Yeah, so we, we literally did turned the lighthouse. That That's something I haven't seen before, I'm pretty sure. I feel like I have seen it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we can definitely... We, we can definitely stream that sometime. Yeah. I feel like... My only problem with it in the past was... I think it was too much I feel like every time people overhyped something, it usually turned bad. True. So I felt like I'm not gonna do that. And every time I saw Robot Dinosaurs, I was so freaking awesome new. I felt like Robot Dinosaurs, that's not new. That's very old. Never seen Transformers, boy? Yeah, Beast Wars. And, uh,. Dinobots. Yep. Um, okay, uh, two of you. I will let you handle them here. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, they they I'm even here. give us a sword here to help deal with these guys. No wielding! No? Um. Okay. Uh, 
uh, yeah, maybe we could do Horizon after Bloodstain then. Yeah. Like, do we have any, any other vampire game after this? Mm, not that I actually know of. Not any of the ones that I have lined up here. Like, do you have Blood Rain? Uh, I, I have Blood Rain, yeah, but I'm not really sure if I'd want to stream that. I actually tried to look out in the Blood Rain lore videos and there was none. Okay. Not a single lore video about Blood Rain on YouTube. And that surprised me. There were a lot of game scenes and game reviews and movie reviews, but no lore videos. Okay, new swords. And I I kinda wonder, is that a red flag usually for game? Help me. Uh, not really, a lot of games don't have much lore in them at all. Uh, the only real big thing with... Uh, well, I don't think the Blood Rain games themselves even give too much lore outside of uh, their own story. I know with Blood Rain there is, I think, a story in the manual. Because I have played that game, but never finished it. Gotten to the boss. But... Yeah, I, to my knowledge, there just isn't much lore in the games themselves. Beyond, yeah, uh, occult Nazis, vampires have been a thing, uh, but they don't actually tell or do much with that. And right. yeah, once again, it confirmed y you only get the experience if you completely train them. Okay, and also for what I little seen, it might be for the bad sense. Seems the game has a lot of nudity. Okay, the outright nudity, nudity I don't know about. And well, oh, there's been a fight here. It is very poor nudity, like it's very. Yeah, like this game. Like it, well, maybe a bit worse or better, I don't know. It's nothing to brag about, but you never know which which. Oh, so no full, no full nudity, just skimpy clothing and such. Oh, the, the, some of the characters in that game were full nude, basically. The only thing that looked like skimpy clothing was her stripes. I don't okay. know who it was, but uh, I think it was another vampire. I don't recall such a character, but then again, Blood Rain didn't stick uh, with me too much. Yeah, and I think there are more than one, just one game. So yeah, there's there's a second game, but there's even a remaster of uh, the first now. Also another unexpected one, I must say. Okay. What's the deal here? Do we need to guide this? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. When in doubt, press the red button. Well, there's no red button here, but there is a bunch of levers. Pull the red lever then. I don't fully see the point of why we are... Oh. Oh, uh... Hello. Is you mean the no it's a normal one? What the Okay. <laughs> uh let's go after our announcer then. Wait wait, but do you come in? Announcer. Like um uh, oh, when wait. someone what? when someone enters the room to announce uh, Lord Such and Such has arrived. Yeah, uh, what should say what should say are you calling that me? They realize I'm not an announcer. We meet again, Uma. Kane. Yes, Kane. 
I thought you were to bring the Seraphan Lord to his knees. I thought... I know. Uh, it seems... I, I was wrong. I could not carry the fight alone. You were brave to try. Cain, I'm dying. Yes, you are. I need your blood, please. You can save me. I know. Tell me, child. Do you see me ruling Nosgoth? Yes, yes, I see it now. And do you believe that Nosgoth rightly belongs to me? I do, I believe it, Cain, please. Then you may die, knowing the truth. <gasps> no! You should never have betrayed me. You could have been my queen. Okay. Oh. Now, you have left me alone. Yeah, game was definitely rushed. Yeah, if they wanted to play up some sort of a love interest between them, they should have added in more. And <laughs> was it just me or was Kane just being Captain Obvious there? Like, yes, Kane. <laughs> Come on, dummy. Yeah. And th th this explains the concept art, no, rather not concept art, in the artwork for the game, but the EA seemed a bit romantic almost. And I hope I expected to him to d take a queen. No, no, no. This. They remove... They never got around with the romance part. And yeah, that, that, that just... Yeah, that, that... As a story, that gave me just a bit of taste in my mouth. Yeah, it, it also shows a bit into Kane's character. Like he said... She could have been his queen had she not betrayed him, because the moment someone betrays Cain, uh, he knows he can't and should not trust him ever again. If you're loyal to him, then he... or if you're loyal and useful to him, then he'll still keep you around. But once you become a, a full threat and a liability, then you're gone. Because Cain might be a bastard, an other bastard who, <laughs> who, who just plain wants to be a dictator of the planet, but he's not an idiot. Yeah, and he did seem a bit regretful about it. Like, yeah. Uma had shown that she was useful. Yeah, and all the problem is, it was a thing way too they didn't have that build up between them. Yeah. It feels a bit awkward. Oh, come on, straight into that. Oh, okay. These women are basically dancing with the swords. Yeah. So dunking and yeah, orbitus carrying bastards. So uh, you're just going to watch? Yeah, what the damn should you to do? I'm just a voice voice in your head. No, I meant the guy at the other side of the fence here. Oh you mean Bill? I bet you know a lazy bastard. <laughs> yep, no reaction. <laughs> Oh, but that guy did react though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh um, Billion stairs and oh come on, Helia. Seriously, Helian? Sucking blood from her breast. Okay, what I was more looking at is that Bill apparently uh has been working out because you can see his this is actually a nice little detail and excuse me a moment whilst they go butt swatting. There, piss off to both of them. Uh, if you look, if you look, you can see his, his chest move, which is probably what is causing all of the. Uh, well, we'll see it here probably again. Uh, okay, 
an option. But yeah, we, how with some characters like the chest plate just <laughs> starts vibrating like mad and such. And oh, okay, that draw <laughs> a response out of you. Okay, so I was right. Bin is a bastard. And a coward. And a dick. I suspect that the body model is probably the same as the bandit who goes around topless and you know have big muscles. And these are just basically remodeled reskin of those. Hence they make the damn annoying thing I hate in some games. But the metal is not acting like metal. And uh, that with the tele well, that was a quick sw <laughs> that was a quick turn. Uh, the heck? Okay. Uh, that's an oddity. I th I think this is actually the first time that we've possessed one of these guys. Uh, no, they have before in boss, if I remember right. I think right. even in during one of the boss fights against the one you had to show us a recording of for you defeating him off screen. Oh yeah, the uh, the lackey of Sebastian. Yeah, and a few others there, so it's not your first time, sorry. But yeah, I can start to see why people don't like this uh, uh, game story-wise and then don't consider it canon. Well, it seems more slightly written in many areas. Yeah, it just feels like they had the plot and they, they got the voice acting and all done, but it the everything around it just feels yeah, unfinished. Yeah, and um, also that it feels like it's missing pieces. Like with Uma there. Yeah. And actually maybe just me, but I think I would enjoy to see Kane with a queen. Probably do for reason that it might sound quite terrifying. Yeah. If you not know, that, that Kane finds himself a king that is worth in him. He's probably will tell you the terrors of that queen. Yeah, unless he was just keeping her as a mistress, but then he'd probably just call her a mistress. Yeah. And Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure if Kane would even be the type to take mistresses. Come on! Like, he, he is an egomaniacal jackass. But I'm not sure if he's uh, hedonistic like that. I, I was expecting a red attack there, so I almost preemptively did that. And, just to cut this short. Yep, and this time you have no axe to clean these arms. Yes, I think the earlier the axe just cleaved him right between the bomb sheets. The axe is also a horrible way to go. Yeah. I feel like also, in, as the, the other one feels like the way they in drinks blood, I feel like the Tentacle should have put extra thought to how the blood is drained and from where. Or, let me, I think the worst case of blood that we've seen so far, but it looks like you've drank blood from someone's arm. Okay, let's finish this. I like with these guys how you can tell that they're vulnerable because uh, you can see their breath, like they're panting out. Yeah, that must make them easier to notice. Yeah, the Hild the Hilden and the spider beasts and demons, they, j they I, I haven't noticed a visual uh, marker. Of them uh, becoming one ball. Okay, then it was my fault. And just remember, you're not safe in a while. Yeah. So. 
I should have run forward to that checkpoint. Oh! But, but, uh, did you now, turn around this one? Uh, though, we can't just run past these two. And... Hey! Come on! Checkpoint, and... Yes, <laughs> just jump around a bit. And... Goodbye! Yep. Or not! Okay. <laughs> Okay, that, that is nice that you can actually get interrupted in an animation like that. Okay, let's just fight you two. Okay, yeah. Just not going to talk about that one because the attack was partially hidden by the wall, but I should have known just how he was moving, what he was up to. I kind of like that both don't attack you at the same time. No, no, that totally would have impaled his friend if... and... Uh, that would have killed me if he wasn't missing, and instead that kills me. Yeah, I mean, I do have to say, props to the combat system that it makes sense that both enemies don't attack at the same time. Uh, you just have to watch out which of them is going to attack. Because your yeah. blocks only work in an area in front of you. Yeah, and realistic as well, most enemies in real life will not attack you at the same time. For their good reason, or something else. Yeah. That one was my fault. They will attack you at the same time with some weapons like speed. But yeah, it's really telling me about the Spears are easy to use uh, with multiple at the same time because <laughs> there's only one way you can really use those in front of Well, not close quarters, but if all of them is just a long stick with a sharp end, and all you, if everyone just stabs forward, then you're not going to hit each other. Yeah, the argument is quite a spear, but usually uh, more towards uh, like if you want was a several or something, but in information. Just a cool one. Yeah. We should have a shield. Now, I do realize that if we die, we're probably just going to get spawned in between these two idiots again. Yeah, that, that's a... That was the moment that looked like a very bad uh, checkpoint. Yeah, we'll take it to yeah, but nowhere near as bad as hydrophobia. Yeah. Oh, and that makes up for it completely. Save again. Might as well save here, but this is the best spot to save at. It's weird. I'm getting used to the sound at the moment. Yeah, at at first it was very annoying. It it still somewhat is, but okay. We have a peanut gallery throwing well, darts. Where the heck did that come from? I was getting shot with arrows there. Okay, let's just fight you here then. Let's not get knocked into the water. Yeah. Uh oh, wait. It's the boat? What? Okay. <laughs> wait, 
You have a dog tag on it? Apparently. Because I didn't see anyone on top of that thing. Yeah, it shot too fast for a crossbow. The loot dog looks way too big for a repeat the crossbow. So it could be their version of repeat the crossbow. It's it's coming out of the freaking periscope. Like it, that screams of there was supposed to be someone on top of this, but we forgot to animate that in. Yeah, but it is a door cannon or dog gun. Yep. That one was my bad. As long as that dart gun does, doesn't annoy us too much, it should just be easy to do. If I don't break what I've been saying and just block the yellow attacks. Enough for you finally. It is. Okay, give me that and give me that. Oh, oh. Son of a <laughs> immediately once I'm done. Okay, those are not doors. Those, those are arrows. Yeah. Okay. Hello there, Captain Fancy. That one was my mistake. Is it just doing a circuit and turning back and forth? Oh, they're far too late with that. <laughs> Is there another boat going to har be harassing us here? I mean, more like they don't want you to jump onto the boat. Also works. Now, let's see. Can we finally get the jump on someone again with this? He should be in range, but I can't target him with it. Okay. Maybe, maybe he's protected by armor. He might be able to note the with that. Yeah, that probably is. I think the only time you done it was because he's not having. Oh, oh, come on! quite annoyed with how one of these guys can take off like three quarters of your health if you're not careful or if the dodge refuses to work but only gives like uh, le let's see how much do you give okay so about a third of health or more like 40 percent Still, I guess you could say it is somewhat balanced, and that I just need to be more careful with what I try to dodge and block. Yeah, I think that's uh, they want you to do, uh, do that. Okay, I just need to go to the other side here. Oh. You know, I, I agree, it gets a bit hard to do. With the uh, auto targeting screen. And another one of these. I, die. I wonder if 
Yeah, I'm just getting the feeling that they're throwing late or late game enemies at us just to have something happen. Oh, come on, I was all. Did I get hit by an arrow there and immediately get hit? Okay. <laughs> Timing. Okay, now stay dead. And here it comes again. Okay, come on, now he's just giving us a very tiny area to fight this guy. And I should have picked up that guy's sword. But usually by the time that we actually get some hits in, it's like half broken already. So it is shortening the waiting game somewhat, but you're still waiting like an ass end of time. Yeah, the, the chain caught the... <laughs> caught the arrow. Somehow, even though it was above the chain. Yeah, it's, that just means that his model box was bigger than the... what you see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, finally a bit of rest. It does look like an inn. Or heaven. Okay, two ways to go. I'm guessing that this doesn't go anywhere then. And oh, hello. You can always use these. I really hope that in the next the final chapter, he does not wear this armor. Yeah, the previous one looked cool, or the previous two. But this is just silly. <laughs> yeah, sure. The first one we thought was this well, these people are okay in. But yeah, this is yeah. Way too silly. And it, it, kind of funny. When I used to draw mine, yeah? Yes I draw. I used to try to try to draw something with my arm and but I thought this is early on look it. That's going to helmet and spike that armor. What's a pain? Was a what? It's kind of to draw off the wounded helmet and spike that armor. Beautiful. You have to make sure you have an angle right to your door. To your door. Okay. There's going to be an only there. And there's going to be a wound of helmets. Okay, so the weapons do actually take damage when your when your attacks are getting blocked. Yeah, 
but uh, it should not be so easily discardable. Okay, in some senses it does make sense because, well, Kane is hitting it with uh, superhuman strength. And some yeah. of the enemies hit like with hit back with similar strengths, but uh, these guys maybe as well. There's probably uh, some enhancement spells in that armor as well. Yeah, but the problem is you would then make sure to make weapons that can handle that kind of stress. Yeah. So yeah, you hear something. You definitely need to raise your durability a lot. Oh, I, I thought this was one of the weapon boxes. <laughs> uh, okay, it would have been funny if this was a weapon box instead then. of that was drowned out by whatever noise this thing was making but yeah. th that was basically Vorador telling us that we need to release that demon even though it looks plenty released to me already <laughs> seeing yeah, as it. its cage lacks a lot of bars yeah and nothing to say just in case yeah so ever since we moved to one processor if yeah, I don't think it actually has crashed any time, I think. Or I might be misrem I might be forgetting one or two times. But I think yeah, I any times. crashes have not been related to the processes but more external programs. Yeah, only two times I remember. Last time was from using a spell. Uh yeah. And another one that was not the first answer, I think it was just random. Yeah. And apparently we can't jump to there for some reason, even though it should be well within jumping distance. How do we deal with these things? Oh, I see how we deal with these things. Okay, that one's stuck. This one lowers it. Oh. Apparently the demon was afraid of heights. Because it could have easily just stepped out and done this. <laughs> And now it's coming our way. And straight past. Okay. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> uh, that thing's going to fuck up the city so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, th this is good. Free blood and maybe free XP. Yeah, actually, let's see if it actually does move. Yeah, it moves. It, it's only a little bit, but still, little bits count up to uh, a lot. Yeah, I can't be helpful in the long run. What do we do now then? There's another lever on this. Hello, Kenny. That one's also stuck. Stuck still. 
Oh, wait. There we go. And this is how we get over the other gates. I think. Wrong button. Come on. Oh, how did it switch to that? Okay, but why are those other levers there then? Red herring or? You'll be using them more? Uh, it looks like not. I, I think this is the end of the level. Uh, it, it's the end of the level. Alright. Wait, what does that mean we might be able to finish it today after all? Uh, with some luck. A lot of luck, probably. If this is even the last level. It, it, it might be. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was a reference. Like, uh, in Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula, I think. Um, or one of the... Yeah, I think it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. It starts off, or no, it doesn't start off. Partials, partially true. Uh, Count Dracula travels to London, but the boat he's on... Uh, ends up crashing into the dock and when people look uh, like what the hell is going on they find that the entire crew is dead and well the count's gone that just make me think of, of your rusty pop closet the charlatan emperor rears his head you are far from home dark one spare your speeches demon your secrets are known to me now your plans crumble like dust brought down by my will. You have struggled longer than expected, but nothing has changed. You see before you your death. Know you not that your vaunted device is destroyed. Your hope of controlling Nosgoth lies in ruins. This world is mine. You understand nothing. You are a degenerate remnant of a cursed race, doomed to walk the night as a parasite. Your life is easily snuffed out as those you feed on to survive. My race is but a warped parody of our former beauty. We are, like you, fallen gods, scratching for our former power. We will prevail. We will cleanse this world of your kind and bring about a new glorious age. Die, King. <sighs> the next is stone. <laughs> Fitting, isn't it? The very item you used to defeat me now turned against you. You're finished. It matters not. The gate remains open, and even as we speak, my army, the likes of which this soft world has never seen, prepares to enter. Moscow is still mine for the taking. Okay, I kind of forgotten that the Nexus Stone does that. Yeah. Also. Also, was I the only one thinking Kane was being uh, very animated there with his movements? Yeah. Especially with that hand. Yeah. Like he hasn't moved too much. Uh, during this game, and when he has moved, it's been generally slow and deliberate. That was just like <laughs> like he'd been on a sugar rush or something. Yeah, he's, he's been very eager to kill that uh, Sarah on the water. Yeah. And that was his first appearance without the helmet on. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it plain knows anyway, so what's the point in hiding? Yeah, look, I have to say, that, that scene did feel a bit cheesy. Uh, 
Wait, what's that noise? Was not me. I'm eating, so that's not me being hungry. <laughs> oh, wait, is there a damn T Rex here? I did say that that scene we saw that reminds me of Jurassic Park, Lost World. Because in, in the towards the end where they they crush the ship, where they carry the T Rex in. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Makes me wonder if that's also in reference to Dracula. The dino version. Could be. Oh, that was making the noise. <laughs> Um, oh god, I didn't see wrong. It doesn't have feet! It just has a uh, claw legs. <laughs> and I I didn't see. It's, it was a bit hard to see there, but I didn't see any eyes either, just teeth. Can you look at its skin here versus the original version of an Umbral Hulk? You maybe don't know what an Umbral Hulk is. Uh, Umbral Hulks are creatures in Dungeons and Dragons, I think. Sort of like uh, golems, but stubbier. No, almost. They're from Dungeons and Dragons. They're just the very big, bulking, huge beetles with arms that look like they've been lifting a lot. Okay. But they do like the giant ones. And then these guys look like the skinnier version of them, with peg legs. And a lot more teeth, probably. Uh, maybe. Oh, now it now it's getting full on sci-fi. It looks like. And oh, hello there. Uh, you like your cage enough to <laughs> come back to it? Okay, yeah, that would tear us in two in seconds. Yeah, what the heck is that? Is that a green demon? I'm guessing. But yeah, it would tear us in two, and then in four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, th those things look like living blenders to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh the heck are those? Uh, oversized bats, I'm guessing, from the sounds. Yeah, and I also realize we haven't seen anything of the Elder Guard. It's not that simple. Why not? If we stay here, we will die, that's certain. And where will we go? We can slip aboard one of those vessels. They bring people every time. They must come from where there are others of our kind. What if we're caught? If we stay, we die. How is that different? What if the place the ships go to is worse? Is there another location? Oh, what was that? He is the one. He must be. Look at him. He is the one who is working against them. So, How do we... Is it true? Are you the vampire who's been making war on the demons? I am Cain. Do you know this place well? We do, my lord. I must find the mechanism these creatures use to hide their presence in this city. He can show you. Go on. It is there, my lord. That building. I've heard them talking. The voice you seek is within. I thank you. Now tell me, what is that? That is the only way to get within. The doors to the building no longer function. Like so much of this place. And that one there? We don't know. But our stories tell us that is where the demons first appeared in our world. Stories? How long have your kind been in this place? We have been here forever. Our oldest fables tell us that our gods abandoned us here. There are others like us. New ones. Soft ones. The demons bring them here from other places to work. They tell other stories. They had no knowledge of the arrival of the demons. We had to tell them. Enough. Be silent. That building surely leads to the gate. But first, I must destroy the device. How long have the Hilden held a foothold here, while we, unsuspecting, fought and triumphed in our petty wars above? 
<laughs> oh, uh, hello. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. At least she's uh, polite as <laughs> she's uh, running away. But those two were talking like they weren't really humans or something. That, that they seem to be human, but they spoke about something they call soft ones. Yeah. I it could know. also be that they were driven partially, in, you know, partially insane or something. Yeah. Uh, or like, they know what babies are right, or that's something yeah, else they brought with them. Caves. We gave you all that you had, and now we take it back. Uh, you were saying there about what? Makes me wonder what else they did they bring with them. We know they have demons. So, did they bring another slave labor force with them? Well, we know that the Hilden could control or possess demons in Soul Reaver 2, which takes place uh, like another millennium after this game. Mm. But yeah, just in all, it, it feels like those two characters were supposed to be something other than human. Yeah. The did she have that, that insmith looking face? The eyes look big and bulgy. <laughs> okay, come on, the head doesn't even twist. Okay, drink up. Uh, there was something else I was just thinking about, but I think it just slipped my mind. As usual. Yep. Also, white. No, okay, now I can pick it up. Like, oh, now is. How did those two even get here? Maybe there were slaves and escaped, but. Yeah. It sounds like they've been there for a long time and be. Oh dear. Yeah, maybe they were experiments or something, that they were human made immortal or something through Hilden experimentation. I think more like if they may be people that lived on the roof if amongst the ruins before they even opened uh, the, the portal. And they basically enslaved the humans. And if you want a, a slave population, yeah. You bring the humans, basically. Yeah. Okay. We're stuck in so here. Do yeah, don't do do be there. Uh, be there for a few generations, probably. Let's see. Will that door open for you, or is it just completely stuck? It won't open for you at all. Uh, which makes sort of sense. Uh, that would be a good way to keep slaves in check, just by not allowing them to travel around unsupervised. Yeah, do, they did say... <laughs> hmm. They did say something that was really something weird, like they said the soft beans didn't know of when they arrived, so they had to come to them. And tell them. So... Hmm. And they do they come to them no more. I forgot that the swords don't uh, throw. <laughs> uh, yeah, with some luck we might, after all, finish this game in this stream. But that depends on uh, how much of a nuisance this place is going to be. Yeah, 
Well, this isn't our stuff anyways. Someone. Yeah. Um, can I get up here without you getting to me? You immediately give up. <laughs> okay. But there's dead demon spiders. Could be specimens that escaped. Here's this fun little thing again. Okay, this time I will nail it. Uh, damn it. I forgot to delete it completely. <laughs> okay, where are we now in comparison to everything? Okay, that is the that is the place that was uh, oh yeah, we're just that was where we started. Now we're over here. Where can we go from here? Okay? Oh, uh, hello there. Peg leg Timmy? Yep, it's Peg leg Timmy. Okay, why don't you go with uh, bother the spiders for a bit? Never! And actually, where do we need to go? I <laughs> almost fell in there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to remember Melody. Yep. Okay, no, the other problem we beat me was not the damn thing that them Star Wars thing with Duels of Fate was it? Duel of Fates, I think, yeah. Yeah, the only problem holding me back now is copyright. And an inability to throat sing, I'm guessing, because that's how it starts, I'm, I think. I can I can do a different throat for singing, just by sounding like a turkey, perhaps. Yeah, that will be a good way to get most copyright. Uh, I doubt your singing will be that good. And what is trying to attack me now? Oh, spider. It probably be horrible for I did I skipped single lesson the lessons. I probably could have come up with a decent song, but sing it myself. Good gods no. I can hold a note for I might maybe just need to hold a moment before I break apart. That opened up that door. I don't see anyone to possess in there. And I'm guessing that the mo Yeah, I presi I repositioned that thing because yeah, I'm pretty sure that we need to blow a hole in the wall here. And this will probably be aimed at that. Or maybe I just moved it <laughs> out of the way of where it was supposed to be standing. And I'll have to run all the way back. But, yeah, for now we need to see about getting in here yeah, and activate that switch. That's it. I think I might remember the melody now. <clears throat> no, wait, no, no, no. That's... No, that's what's the look of as a bright side of mine. And uh, that's life of Brian. Yeah. <laughs> and with that one, I can only partially do in a whistling manner, and I feel I, I, I don't know which note I always get great wrong. I'm getting the feeling that Ghost Coolies might end up doing a Drakir tries to sing uh, Duel of Fates and Fails uh, compilation. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually had a bit to try to do it. Well, it sounded like a turkey, but I realized I should probably have practiced beforehand. Okay. 
can't reach that. Is there anything as down well. here? Yeah. As well, every other like, because the dude, dude, the dude feel like a turkey. They could probably freak out the neighbors or the, um, the people downstairs. Good chance. <laughs> if you don't kill your throat first. Yeah, we added to list that I should not do the turkey thing. It probably would be the damn hilarious, but at what cost? Oh, where have you been hiding? Um, under the desk, the Lord. Okay, he looked somewhat normal eyed, though he looked a bit familiar. Yeah, we've seen it with a few characters now. The charm doesn't change the eye colors. Okay, just stand behind it for four seconds. <laughs> just breathing down his, down his neck. And let's let's have a bit of a look in here. If it keeps standing s still, oh, you're actually going to pose. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any eyes on this thing. I Only can't identify um, anything because of pixelation. Yeah, we we looked into what might cause that, but we couldn't find a definitive answer. Uh, next time we should try s streaming on a server just to be sure. Yeah, but last time we did that, it didn't. It was basically no difference. Okay, so let's... then it was a problem on my end though, so... Okay. So far, I just keep telling Discord that it gets pixelated and hope that we update it in future updates. Or, you, you didn't get Nitro, it was supposed to fix it. Yeah. Okay. It is me. Everyone knowing... If it only works, if I also get it. That just be pure annoyance. If it only works if both people have it. Yeah, yeah. Just sit still there, beautiful. I guess. Oh. And see you back in hell. Oh no, okay, that even thank you double. Even Kane has to scream his satisfaction to the heavens. <laughs> okay, so I put it in the right place, anyways. Oh, wait. Oh, we already passed through here. I was thinking already, why isn't the checkpoint activating? But oh, it, it's already activated. <laughs> Ticking makes me think that this is timed. So how far? 15%. Okay. And we are at an hour and 20. Hmm. So we might be able to finish it today, if we want to. Yeah. And I think I'll actually go for that. Yeah, for... Yeah, it... it Maybe a half hour or an hour extra just to get rid of it. So we can start a new game in a more peaceful, relaxed manner. Yeah. Hopefully, unless the next game make you bald. I very much doubt that. Though my chin is bald again because I finally shaved again. Last 
Yeah, one of the reasons why I'm hesitant to shaving in the first place is because I never can get a clean shave done myself. Yeah, I have... Let's see. There we go. Uh, with me, my hair grows in well many different directions, so I have to go ac across my throat with the... Uh, with the trimmers like up, down, sideways, and back, and even then, still I have like stu like a day stubble worth that won't go away. Very useful for summer, winter. Just in the winter, it keeps you warm, and in summer, yeah, it tends to work as a cooling unit. Like, if you get it wet, it will cool your face for quite a while. Okay, but the idea of a wet beard doesn't really... Uh, point... Isn't really something I'd point to, or for one thing. Bad grammar there. And something I just noticed. Uh, the Hilden symbol is the top of the uh, Seraphan uh, symbol. Huh. It's just... Uh, yeah, a cross with this in place of the uh, upper... How would you even... The upper third of the cross. Oh. That's interesting. Could you say they just happened to have something as a similar symbol? Uh, seeing as how the... The, the Seraphan Lord revived the Seraphan. Basically, they didn't survive. <clears throat> and yeah, the Seraphim Lord restarted them and basically just uh, added his own symbol to it. Or their own symbol. Spider. Could be that, or could be a case of a similar symbol. Like, Seraphim Lord Lord has a similar symbol. And it gives it as a way to make a line at the time. But I was in this quite similar to the audio highlights in like that. Yeah, I don't think the Hildren have made their presence known to the Seraphim. Uh, maybe though the Seraphim one is not really hiding his pussy. Well actually he uses that mask that hides his face. The glow still shows, yeah, but his face is hidden. Except the lower part. Let's see. I'm guessing this is going to be a butt jumping puzzle. I think it came out before. All right. And that yeah, uh, yeah. defiance was basically uh, in part to write this game out of the timeline. All right. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Now, what's the question? That defiance looks way really better than this game. Yeah. So that's also that could also be in part uh, because. The Defiance has a lot less areas, so a lot. I am pretty sure that it came out last. I think it is the fifth game in the series, with this the fourth. Yeah. Well, yeah. It also had a lot less areas in it, so that uh, most of them were a lot of them were reused. No. Uh, but since both characters went through both locations. They could reuse a lot. Yeah, and they also had a bit more time to polish it. Yeah. So Let's see. Yeah, once we turn the once we turn the water back on, these boxes are going to be floating. So we have to jump from one to the next, but luckily we have the leap ability to make that a lot easier. I just feel like 
something. That is. You can't come in from Werewolf. I think he I caught, caught part, of, part of that. I said he can't turn into a Werewolf. Yeah. He's the boss. I think he did it in the very, very first game. Yeah, that was something that came. What the? Did it just. Okay, there's crash number three. Yeah, it, it's, it just suddenly broke my stream on my end. Yeah. Which means we're going to have to move those boxes again. You remember to save, right? Yeah, the save is at the last checkpoint, anyways. Uh, it should be at. There should be a save. Uh, start, load. Uh, we have to do part again. Uh, screen share, please. Yeah, at first I'm going to check this. Let's be sure that it doesn't crash from some other reason. Okay, CPU zero. And come on, let go of my mouse. Come on. I seriously don't get why... There we go. I seriously don't get why the game just uh, holds my mouse hostage at times and sometimes just not. <laughs> I, maybe that's something in DXWND as an option, but I'll have to check. Okay, you're getting you're getting video again. It's loading. No, I've got video. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, the game had us locked into into the auto lock, well, into the locking system, and yeah, when I tried to jump, <laughs> Jane instead dodged the side and committed suicide. Like again, I've I've know I've said this again and again and again. And whilst this game isn't exactly great, it isn't exactly terrible either. Yeah. Just. Subpar or something because of what you used to it? Yeah, subpar to the quality of the other games, especially in the writing. And yeah. it's very much in the dialogue as well. Yeah, they have some good ideas when it comes to the combat system, yes. <laughs> Incomplete. What? Incomplete. Yeah. Like, the, I think it's there, but they complete it. Come on, ugly, this way. Yeah, good dog. And good dogs go to hell. Like, what, what even is that supposed to be? Like, yeah, I, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Like some sort of, <laughs> why do they have a death ray in the middle of a room? Okay, deal with this again. Okay, I expect that... Oh, wait, this again. Okay, get you, do that. Yeah, there should be 
a checkpoint at the end of the next jumping puzzle. Where... Grab you again. This again. I don't think saving now will actually make any difference because it would put us back at the same checkpoint anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm at the save by the next checkpoint. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see now what actually happens. Oh? The, the water wheels power the lift over here. And that, the second switch, brings this up. So the water wheels are still supplied of water. But that uh, this place is also dried. Okay, okay, I missed that the first time. Also, you'd expect that there would be a checkpoint over here after that. So, why is there no checkpoint here? Sometimes... ...the airport don't think things through. Am I missing something here? They have active ventilation down here. <laughs> okay, come on, if you're going to be a pest, anyways. Just charge the meter. Uh, I, I, it's, it's kind of funny how this thing is trying to kill us with its forearms when uh, spider's legs aren't really strong at all. <laughs> like, the only thing they can really do is make webs and bites. <laughs> it's... Yeah. Okay. Now to deal with you. That should be more than enough. Okay, line this up. Actually, I, yeah, I should put you closer to there, just to see if that door actually opens or not. And then we'll have to block over here. Oh, that will be out of range of the previous block for now, though. Oh. I think I missed that box there the first time. <laughs> Though I think with how far we are now that I don't think we'll be getting another level. Okay. 
put you into place and then we move all the way back to the other end and hope that whatever whatever caused that crash doesn't happen again because w wouldn't that be an absolute kicker this after after 20 ish hours of this game that it's all of a sudden at the end it just glitches and we can't play it at all anymore <laughs> or we can't continue yeah, it on I mean, just like hydrophobia yeah another mini breaking point before the end yeah that would just be mm. yeah that that would cement this game as absolute trash yeah do it is Oh, no, 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 Remember, they said they wanted to make six games in the story, but if they wanted to uncapitalize this one, that would mean they still have two games to do. Ah, see. Okay, come on back out here. Yeah, I, I really hope the new point does make a remake of the first Blood Omen game. If they are somehow successful to understand the lore from that game and maybe have helped the original writer. Are they, are they even alive? The writer? Yeah, they, they should be alive. Okay. She wasn't, that, she wasn't that old when she wrote them, if I remember right. But she, should, she should be alive. Uh, and finally we have passes through here. And uh, oh, there we go. Okay, blind guessing here of her age now, just blind guessing. If she's still alive, I think she might be around 15, 16. Okay. Maybe less even? That, that would mean they were around 20 when they would have written this uh, for the Legacy of Cain. Yeah, but maybe around, uh, around that age. They were not as old as some of the voice actors, like for Kane. Uh, or the Elder God. Like, the Elder God's original voice actor is dead. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Come again? Yeah, uh, I, th I thought so. I I didn't really know which of the voice actors had died, but I did have a bit of a feeling that it would be the Elder Gods. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, your game is also getting very old. I think he enjoyed it, the acting as game, but yeah. I think he enjoyed it more that there's a limit. Probably cannot uh, stay alive for an entire remake or reboot. Uh, that, that actually reminds me of something. Uh, you, you know I've told you about the Thunderbirds remake, right? Or reboot, the CGI yeah. one. Yeah. One of the voice actors in that is the very same one that did the same character in the original. In the 80s or 90s that it actually... That the, the original came out. Impressive, save! Yeah. And the voice actor, or that voice actor, is the one from is the one that who voices Parker, Lady Penelope's uh, aide. Th that is the very same <laughs> voice actor who <laughs> did him in the original as well. And uh, hello, uh, fantasy showdown. Uh, uh, God. And I just found a mod creator for art that uses uh, that uh, 
system shot will in space as well. Uh -huh. See? Yeah, let me out, let me out! Is that all that is it? Uh, oh no. It is a I'm in a pond. You kill them so quickly, the works There's an old man running right dead blood, old man. Joining us. It is true. Be patient, Kazan. Soon we will have no further need to work in secret. This man will be gone forever. Okay, they were talking about something. Um, one of them mentioned that the pain is unbearable. I'm guessing that's the one with, uh, well, the blades. <laughs> but the rest of that I missed because of the waterfall. Kane, uh, stop auto walking! But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were complaining about the human slaves as well. Kane! I'm not really sure if if the auto walking has actively killed me before, but I know it has been a massive hindrance at times. Ah! Okay, how did you notice me? Or do you just home in on me? Come on, turn your back or something. There wouldn't or there shouldn't be mist here. There shouldn't be mist here if I can't sneak by you. No, eat. <sighs> and there, the the auto walk just almost ran me into the water there. I think I had that before. That kind of bug. But then the, the enemies just they notice you, but they did nothing. And they attack you. This one does attack you, however. Hey, just to take out some frustration and get some health back. And you were a lot easier than your friends in the device. Which uh, another little sign that this game was probably rushed and unfinished is... What the hell kind of name is the device? Yeah, just as bad as what uh, I heard that it was the one that fits in High Republic. The best one. Come on. Yeah. And it, it, it is kind of, it's a rock. It ain't in here. That's the navigator. The navigator is literal rock. And Captain Gary tried to force John Trevorrow, or what his name is, to add it into his show. With the Mandalorian and all. Yeah. He, he, she failed. And I actually heard some news about her. Oh? Apparently, apparently she'd been under heavy restriction of things she was not allowed to do. And she'd been breaking them recently. So apparently, there's a lot of rumor that many of them are in. Or, or leaving at the same road that this lady actually have scolded her harshly in anger. So it's almost like she is wanting to get fired or something? More like her arrogance is talking her, but uh, we are. Uh, well, the higher they are, the higher they are, they are the, the harder they fall. Yeah, I think I'm getting tired of her unprofessionalism. Mm. Uh, I wasn't surprised that many of her supporters even uh, giving up on her or afraid. And yeah, this is probably not a topic for the channel. Nearing on two hours, 15 minutes left. 
Wait, wait, wait. What did you say now? We're nearing on two hours. Alright, I thought you said in another word. We really need to get you a headset. I think it also got a bit distorted by a moment due to the music. Yeah, but your microphone doesn't really mess up with your hearing at times. <laughs> yeah, and usually this messed up is usually to do other things interfering with my hearing, like background music, birds, something, or if I at the moment slightly get distracted. And I think I was at the moment. Okay, 40% through, and now 15. You're 50. Alright. Uh, if we keep going, I think we might be able to finish the game. Uh, yeah, we, we only built one. Uh, it, we would be finishing it in a rather round number at 10. Yeah, and it. Yeah, it's not better than to finish up with one and episode that fourth and on the other. The only look a little bit time into that flash. But not too much, I think. Yeah, not too much. Okay, come on, Pajama Sams. Give up. Pajama Sams? Okay, enough of the slow mo. Wait. Okay, now I know why you can't aim at me, bro. Ever since I stopped screaming with you, I've been screaming to open you in Pyama. Not that long ago, now, but now I just have. Stop and uh, sure. <laughs> okay, let's just drain these guys. Oh, hello. This isn't really of use anymore, but well, we can grab them anyways. And with our luck, we'd probably get thrown into one last level or something. <laughs> The last level is the boss level, like, just a arena, basically. Oh, um. Okay. What the? But it could be too late to leave for me, but I am feeling... ...shopping stuff holding out from home. Yeah, I'm guessing this is supposed to be some sort of torture chamber, but, uh... There's plenty of room here in the middle to not get poked. Unless they are blinded? I think it's just something. No, he isn't blinded. Alright. What the heck is he mumble? These two are inactive still, so I just need to jump from this. Where did I run? Okay, I, it looked like I was f jumping into something there. Okay, this is. If I miss here, I'm going to fall into the water. Oh! Okay. But I was way further away than it was. Okay, just to get you out of the way. And I'm 
Oh, oh, crap, my fucking auto walk. Oh. Hello? And that's a wall Wait. of water. Wait, did the old wolf accidentally be helpful here? No, it almost threw me into the water. Well, yeah, besides that. Okay, Cinderella, come on. going to stay down or do I have to give you a bath? Okay, just going to stay down. I'm expecting that if we were to get caught by that demon, that it would likely kill us in one blow, but if it doesn't, then it'd probably be better... What did that do? It'd be better to have as much health as possible <laughs> for even a chance at survival. Oh, and that... Th those two were only kept in there by a waterfall. Where did I see things wrong? What were they actually held like by a field by a force field or something? Oh whatever the case. Oh come on! Wait, where did it go? It went into one of the prisons there on the left. Or into one of the cells. How many of them do they have? Uh, we've seen one in the city, and this is the second one over here. And uh, we can't reach that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the fact that we had to lure that thing away means that it would have killed us in one shot. Oh, oh hello! Oh, and you're bullshit blocking again. Oh, I think I see what need. Okay, uh, just jump for joy. <laughs> Actually. No, no, no. This caused a crash before, so I'm not going to risk that. We have to work on the before last one. Yeah. Okay, fill up. Nope. Okay, so that was a required kill. Actually, one of the few ones. Yeah, what the? What? Why does this look familiar? Because we just got to see this when we arrived at this place. I'm like, like, I feel like I've seen a fresh sci-fi show or another sci-fi game. Well, plenty of science fiction shows and games involve at least one uh, one case where someone ships themselves into uh, an enemy uh, location. Yeah, I think just something about the structure and the way you were transported 
Grandpod Bell. <laughs> And oh hello. Um Okay. <laughs> we have a full on security robot. They had guns? Then power? Is, is that the gate down there, or is this just, uh, what, what, I think this is the gate, I, oh, oh yeah, we are, we are sabotaging whatever this is, because the security drone is stupid enough to shoot at the vital components of its own devices. And last one. Okay, that I ruined that by walking too early. Hilden City's defenses have been broached. Janos can no longer sense a ward barrier. It's my doing. I've shut down their foul magics, at least for a time. Then we are ready to help you. Janos is casting a spell that will bring us to you in moments. Excellent. I look forward to thanking you in person for saving Uma's life. Um, about yes, that, of course. That's going to get. I will try to detect the location of the Hilden Gate. Where's Uma, Kane? I cannot sense her. She will not be joining us. Uma is dead, is she not? Were you too late? No. She suffered the fate she deserved. She stole the Nexus Stone from me. So you refused to help her? I dealt with her as I deal with all traitors. I killed her accordingly. You did what? I did as you would have done, Vorador, to any human or vampire who defied your will. Monster! She chose her fate. Was she acting as the dutiful lieutenant, following her superior's orders? I care not. What's done is done. We were wrong ever to trust you. Do you so wish to return to the grave, old friend? You are in no position to challenge me. No, oh, we have no time for this discord. I sense that the Hilden Gate is nearby. I can transport us there. We will settle this in good time. Tonight, the Saraphan Lord dies. Tomorrow, we shall see. Or not. This round is mine, Dark One. I must tend to Vorador. Proceed without us, King. I can teleport you to a place near the gate, but you will have to close it on your own. Use the Nexus Stone, cast it into the gate, and the magic of the stone will destroy it utterly. Cast your spell then, and let us finish this. <laughs> okay, the sword stuck around for a bit longer there. Yep, and that dialogue went... Uh... Yeah. Uh, Vordor is uh, in his rights to be pissed at Kane for killing one of his lieutenants, or probably his best lieutenant. Uh, but yeah, Vordor has a point that it, this isn't the fucking time. Yeah, the, the way it went tends a bit cringy to me. Like, did you feel that they delivered the lines properly? 
Uh, as we keep saying again and again and again ad nauseum, this game was rushed, so they probably didn't have much time for retakes anyways. Yeah. Yeah, especially how when you get to later in the game, or the further you get into the game. And save. Yeah. But That's... now we've after all we've even had one crush so far, so better keep that uh, habit up. Yeah. Only 20% left, and we are at two hours. But let's let's give it at least half an hour extra to see if we can finish up. Yeah, do. You know, if you're lucky, we can go another half an hour. The next time we want to have a half an hour left of it. That just means they're awkward. Come on, Kane, grab it. Yeah. Hmm? Hello, hello, yep. that, that was bad timing of you to ask to say that again and activating the water because that's quite loud. Uh, I said uh, how many percent remaining? Twenty in the level. Okay, that might actually Oh. Half an hour, maybe a bit more, but definitely not two hours. I think it's between half an hour and an hour that between. Depending if there's something goes wrong, of course. I did not expect that other lever to just lower the water as well. Um. So what are we supposed to do then? Oh, <laughs> almost walked in. <sighs> okay. Can we just jump onto that normally? Oh, we don't need to jump on it, we need to walk through it. Okay, what was the entire point of this lever then? No idea. Alright, oh, I forgot to tell you what, what, what I misheard you earlier when you said uh, you were nearing the end. Maybe you said we were nearing the end. I thought you said kneeling to the end. Okay. It's too late. We are destined to win this battle. So is it known to us all. All of us knew that one of his cursed race would come this far. This disturbs me. We need only be vigilant, cousin, to prevail. He cannot kill us all. Uh, I can kill you all, I just don't have the patience to. <laughs> also, I have to say that... Vordor's so-called vampire army consisting only of himself and Janus was rather disappointing. Yeah. And I get the feeling we were supposed to be looking up at some sort of building, but yeah, <laughs> the draw distance just wasn't for it. Okay, so this is the gate, or the gate room, chamber. At last, I had hunted my prey to his very lair. Uh. The Hilden Gate was before me, <laughs> from which the Hilden General, in his guise of a Salafan Lord, Plan to bring forth his alien armies and destroy us all. This by the flesh wounds. Turn, <laughs> vile demon. Your reckoning day has come. Okay.
Did you think you could defeat me? All your plans are revealed, together with your true nature. Turn and enter the gate you have fashioned and join your kind before I obliterate it. Or stay, and be destroyed upon its rubble. I confess I did not expect to find you here, at the heart of my endeavor. You are indeed a more capable adversary than I have thought possible. You can ponder that thought when you have made your choice. Return to exile, or death. Do you think the game is over? Do you think it will end with me? Have you not wondered why so many of your trusted henchmen, time and again, bend their knees before me, accept me as their lord, and join their cause to mine? Cowards and traitors deserve no second thoughts, only their complete annihilation. Did it not occur to you that perhaps my cause and not yours the cause of right, of justice. That your ambition to rule this world is but the youthful craving of a petty noble who has gained too much power, but never enough. Silence, demon. Your need to corrupt is only too apparent. For every traitor that you have turned to your will from my side, even Uma, your latest spy, is dead. Uma? I have no spy called Uma. You lie! What? Okay, that feels again like uh, something. Like something with. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, that that felt like uh, something was missing there. Uh, this this is being loud, so I can't hear you. Uh, wait. Okay. Oh, what he says is you and your damned stone. Come on. Uh, oh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Or, or not. Is that actually hitting? No, that isn't hitting him at all. Okay. Oh. Okay, specific animations for where Tain gets hit. That was unexpected. Get up, Rin. So, wait, we're, ba we're basically playing a bit of sumo. <sighs> okay. Come on. Hey, come on, charge. Damn, 
Okay, do that. And this then? No, when I get close, he vanishes again. The hell am I... If I get close, he just vanishes again. And by the time this recharges, he's recovered again. Very much doubt. Yep. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what we're supposed to do here. The only thing we can do is give him a shove like this. And sometimes it won't even connect. I, it's the same as with the Hilden enemies. He's just simply not programmed completely. And that was Otto Walk again. How the hell did that get switched? Okay, enough of this bullshit. I'm just going to look up how to fight him because I absolutely, absolutely no way how. Yeah, for that. Yeah, we, we need to do that. So if we're gonna wanna finish this stream, this game today, we need a walkthrough. Otherwise, we're spending almost an hour trying to figure out what the heck we're doing. Okay, how the absolute fuck? Phase one. Fought on the outside the platform. Several. Mm -hmm. Uh, telekinesis a jump attack would knock the servant lord off the platform but we we've done jump attacks or does it mean no we is yeah it's the leap it's the leap power this and we tried this earlier no, oh, now it does work all right so we just missed earlier then wait that's it well, the wiki said phase one do you still believe you can prevail while you possess the Nexus Stone, my sword cannot slay you. But while you bear the stone to shield your life, you cannot use it to destroy the gate. Stalemate came. Mine is the waiting gate. As long as I have not lost, in time, I am sure to win. But I have not yet made my choice. No, no, no! I have mastered the weaver. I am your doom. Okay, now it's a straight up fight. Are you absolutely kidding me? 
the Soul Reaver is getting blocked by simple metal Vembraces. Yeah, the, what the hell was that? Uh, and we're back to this. Which means we're going to have to suffer through that cutscene as well again. not even teleported in before he starts to attack. <laughs> there. Just fucking Sparta kick him in. I did a quick read of the wiki, what to do next, just to avoid bullshit, and apparently we we have to outright fight him, but we can't damage him without using immolates on him. And even then it only leaves him vulnerable for a short while. Even okay, it it did damage him though. I, I, I just I like the Soul Reaver, the most powerful blade in Nosgoth is getting blocked by metal van braces. Yeah, yeah, I rent my soul, burn in hell. Get it over with, ugly. I have mastered the Venus. Yeah, yeah. You? Yes, your prisoner, from whose blood you built your evil plans. What could be more righteous than to take our revenge and your freedom from the same source? Tortured eons of suffering are too good for you, vampire. But not for you, Hilden, who has dared to set a corrupting foot upon this world after your banishment. Return to the demon dimension in which you belong. And by what right, cursed one, did you send my kind to that place of evil? By what right did you lay on us the curse that drove us from the light and made us predators of humankind? 
seek was justice for our banishment from the world. You see what it has made of our once fair race. I see you have taken your true form at last. Then go and see what it makes of you. Ah, ah, pain, the sword. Sentence you to the hell of your own making. A prisoner for all time. No! Kane! And now, it is your turn. Uh oh. Okay, and I don't think I need to look up what we have to do here. Oh, okay, just a single hit, come on. A single freaking hit. Okay, let's see if this works then. Yes, it does. Now into the pit and fuck off. Oh, uh, of course. Oh, come on. He's the only enemy that can actually block that power. You have won the battle, but the war between your kind and mine will never end. Our banishment in the demon dimension also ensures our immortality. One day, we shall return. Should your kind reach that place of banishment again, I will be waiting. <laughs> you will not live that long. I have lived long enough to dispose of you. What was it she said to me in that fatal moment when she took from me the Nexus Stone? How would my rule differ from that of the Saraphan Lord? If you had lived, Uma, you would have learned the difference. You should have trusted me. The war was over, and yet there was another battle to be fought. The cruel masters of Nosgoth, the Saraphan, now leaderless, still had to be put down. There were cities to be rebuilt, and order to be restored, and a new rule. My rule would then begin. To the victor go the spoils. At last, Nosgoth would be mine. Okay, and with 25 minutes extra, like on the moment that I actually said that there, uh, we are done. Yeah, and this is what I feel like it definitely sort of pick up, fell apart from the story more and more. Yeah. Even the dialogue. 
that we never saw that or that. Okay. But uh, yeah, I absolutely understand now why most of the uh, Soul Reaver fans uh, like to pretend that this game just does not exist. <laughs> Again, once more and for the final time, it isn't the worst game ever. It isn't a really good game either. It's playable, but completely subpar to the rest of the series. In writing, dialogue, and... Were Uma's nipples showing through that? Oh, sure. But... Yeah, just the absolute low point in this franchise. So, yeah, I can see why it is at the very least considered non-canon. Yeah, and from there we have to Wait, what was that? It was not the witch. I... Yeah, it wasn't the witch. Um, I'm guessing that was supposed to be a different kind of... Um, Hilden enemy. Demon. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they did a lot of things that actually contradict earlier lore, but wasn't that they added new lore to it? They just badly contradicted other lore. I, I wouldn't really say that. It's it contradicts with Defiance the most, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah, it's just that um, with the other games in this franchise there have always been like somewhat consistent there was an enemy we also never saw yeah. and that as well with the other games there has been an overall consistency in the world like uh, yeah Kane, Raziel, Mobius who had a cameo in this uh, and the Elder Gods and this game just brings up too many questions of where the hell was this nexus stone before where the hell uh, was this mass before why has nobody else brought it up and such yeah as well as we saw for boss fight you may be able to block the sorry with your bracelet and all that yeah that that's just that is probably something that really pissed off fans. I, I, I know what it's. You're supposed to be able to fight back, and you can't just. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's <laughs> the most powerful weapon in the universe. There, blocked by simple metal. Like you could say that Kane was strong enough to be able to block it. Uh, that that would have been a factor. But still, yeah, and uh, it felt like there was a lot of being missing. Again, as, again, it was made just during one year after the other game. Yeah, it, the it all it the very signs that this game is rushed slash incomplete starts here at the menu screen because silence, no music. Which is something that the other games have had as well, so... Yeah, absolutely the black sheep of the franchise. But yeah. I think we've... Uh, we've complained enough about that now. Yeah, uh, we've, been, we've been repeating it a lot. Yeah. So... Things... Uh, what were things about this that you did like? I liked some of the... Uh... The signs of some things, except the final armor of Kane. Yeah. And I like the what I did. They what they were trying to do with the combat system, but yeah. Yeah. If every if every fight just starts to devolve into block, you know, keep blocking until you get in a window. Uh, no, nothing like a sort of parry system. 
Like, you could attack in between their attacks with some luck. I did that on one of the uh, Hilden scientists at, uh, at one point there, when we were facing two. Um, but still, it, as it is, it just got boring. Yeah, but it was way too little combat tactics for each enemy. For most enemies, it was the same tactic you could use. Yeah, the only difference was really with uh, the big guys, where you had to wait for them to tire themselves out. And even then, yeah. it was only really uh, just the same strategy, generally only with uh, yeah, a, longer a longer timer in between. Yeah, and the, the weapons definitely, I really love the weapon system, especially with the killing blows. Just, that, yeah, they should last longer. Yeah, that was a definite positive, that the the, uh, the different stealth animations. That you can tell that care has been put in this game in areas. It's just, yeah, not, I'd say we stopped bitching about this, but it's just unpolished. Yeah, it's, it's hard to complement it and say something positive when it's so much unpolished with it. Like, you try to complement it, but you come back to the problem again. Yeah, and there is no Dark Diary or so. I, I saw something about there's supposed to be a, a Dark Diary feature or something here. Maybe that would have had a concept art like the previous games. But it's either missing or I haven't managed to unlock it. However, you would unlock it. And I have Soul Reaver 2 already here? Uh, yeah, this game came out after Soul Reaver 2. Oh, right. So this the is just advertising of the previous game. Let, let's right, actually yeah. have a look. I've never really seen a trailer of any of these games. That's the same. Show yourself, King. Here. Raziel. One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Welcome, time span soul. I should kill you where you stand. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Nosgoth is in peril. I intend to discover the truth behind all of this. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. Seek Cain out and destroy him. Oh, come on! Did it crash? It crashed, yeah. Uh, actually, whilst I was doing that, I was looking it up. I th let's see, is did this come out before Soul Reaver 2 or after? Uh, let's see, games. Yeah, it it came out after Soul Reaver 2, and just something else that the trailer there showed, both in its cinematics and its graphics, it looks better than the game that came after it. Oh, <sighs> so I was not... <sighs> but some things I think they did well, though they really messed up with the villagers. Yeah. So at least the I... villagers were better than the slow. So in a way, we can say it is similar to uh, Hydrophobia, only the major differences were are that this was this game was made by competent people who actually managed to complete the game but just had to rush it yeah. whereas uh, hydrophobia is an incomplete piece of shit that even on the second try the developers couldn't uh, complete with a satisfying story yeah and 
as I, I think I said before, uh, Blood Omen 2 did not have the same writer as the rest of them. Yeah, that uh, that's also just generally a warning sign. Yeah. Like, it's not that new writers can't do good in an established series. It's just whether they understand the franchise or not. Yeah, and as well, just they had a, that uh, time. It was they had a very short deadline, which also puts stress on a writer. For that, gives them very limited chance to learn what has been happening and to properly adapt it. For they are themselves rushed to write the story. Yeah. Without giving a chance to learn properly, they, they just get the basics. Yeah, but then finally, after about 20 hours, which I'm absolutely certain makes this the longest series yet here, we are done with the Legacy of Kane Blood Omen 2. So, finally. yeah. <laughs> so, let's go through the list of names. And if this thing wants to cooperate. Okay. Come on. No, not photo. No, it's on the battery saver, so of course it's starting to misbehave. Come on. Let me show let me see who else is who all are watching here this. There we go. All right then. Uh, yeah, two of these reads like possible bots to me. Again, if you are not a bot and just silent, speak up sometime. Otherwise, I might eventually start ignoring you. Discord for streamers. Thank you for watching. Community for small streamers. And those are the two possible bots. Uh, if you are not, sorry. If you are, you are not going to reply anyways. And another TV viewer, thank you for watching, and maybe you'll give us uh, another view some other time. But for now, this has finally been the end of Blood Omen 2. In the Legacy of King series. Yeah, there is still the original Blood Omen, but from what I know, playing through that would be another 30 to 40 hours. And... Yeah, I, I've honestly, it doesn't add much to the lore. Well, it ha it adds to the lore. It's the basis that the franchise is built on, but not much of the lore that's in it, except for the killing of King uh, Forgettable, uh, the uh, Forgotten, and uh, Mobius. Beyond that, it doesn't really add too much to the lore of this franchise. So I... I won't be playing that unless at some point it is remade. Yeah, for it is extremely old. Yeah, it's it also in a format that wouldn't be as appealing because it's a, an isometric uh, a game. And don't think that would be a bad thing, but more for me, the big problem is the technical issues it might bring. Yeah, we've, we've already had issues with Soul Reaver 1, 2 and this game. So Especially to go for the to go for the grandfather of the series, uh, we would just be crashing uh, every time. Yeah. <laughs> so next time on Saturday, we will be continuing with another vampire-related game, and hopefully the last one for quite some time. Maybe I'll do Soul Rain at some point, but for now. Uh, I can't stand any more bloodsuckers. <clears throat> or one more bloodsucker, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, next time, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I have not played that, but I have heard nothing but good of it. And not in the overhyped type. Good. So, yeah, for now, though, anyone else who has been watching now later on on YouTube... Thank you for watching, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for bats.